Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video we are going to see about stress urinary incontinence. This is a concise presentation for medical students. Incontinence means unintentional loss of urine. Stress urinary incontinence or SUI is involuntary loss of urine with increase in intra-abdominal pressure. This increase in intra-abdominal pressure can occur during coughing, sneezing, running or heavy lifting. This picture shows the urinary bladder and urethra of a normal person. This picture shows the urinary bladder and urethra of a person with stress incontinence. As you can see, when there is a sudden increase in intra-abdominal pressure in a person suffering from stress urinary incontinence, there will be involuntary loss of urine. Now let us see about the incidence of stress urinary incontinence. 40% of women report symptoms of stress urinary incontinence after delivery. It results in most of the cases. In around 3 to 12% of women, there will be symptoms even after 6 months after delivery. Now let us see about the mechanism of developing stress urinary incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence develops due to a combination of mechanical injury, denervation and ischemic damage during delivery. Now let us see about the risk factors for developing stress urinary incontinence. Stress urinary incontinence is more common after vaginal delivery. It can occur with cesarean section also. 8% of women report symptoms of stress urinary incontinence after cesarean section. Other risk factors include pre-existing incontinence, prolonged second stage of labor, assisted vaginal delivery, episiotomy, high birth weight and multiparity. Now let us see about the assessment of a patient with stress urinary incontinence. Examination may be normal or it may reveal uterovaginal prolapse. When the patient is asked to cough or do well salva maneuver, there may be leakage of urine through urethra. If there is uterovaginal prolapse, occult stress incontinence should be checked after reducing the prolapse. Midstream urine sample should be collected and sent for microbiological investigations to rule out in infection. Now let us see about the management of a patient with stress urinary incontinence. Women should be taught pelvic floor exercises by a physiotherapist. They should do these exercises antenatally and postnatally to prevent stress urinary incontinence. The efficacy of weighted vaginal cones and electrical biofeedback in the management of stress urinary incontinence is not yet proved. Now let us see about the surgical management of stress urinary incontinence. Surgical management is indicated if symptoms persist even after pelvic floor exercises. Surgical management is usually done after completion of family. The various vaginal procedures for stress urinary incontinence includes anterior calporaphy and Kelly stitch, tension free vaginal tape and trans obdurator tape. The various abdominal procedures for stress urinary incontinence includes Marshall Marchetti trans procedure and Birch colpo suspension. Laparoscopic colpo suspension can also be done for managing stress urinary incontinence. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section. For more such videos, please check out my gynecology playlist. Thank you.